Jesse Smollett is back in the news, you guys. Yesterday, after an investigation by Special Prosecutor Dan Webb, Jesse was indicted by a grand jury on six felony charges, which include filing false police reports and staging a hate crime. This is now the second time that Jesse's been indicted. Last year, a grand jury indicted him on 16 counts. However, those charges ended up being dropped. And even though no new evidence has been presented in regards to Jesse's innocence, which he has always maintained. I mean, we've talked about this multiple times on the yes. show. Uh, Jesse will be arraigned on February 24th, you guys. And he faces up to three years in prison. If convicted. Again, if convicted. So, what are you guys' thoughts about... Honestly, this confuses me. Yeah. I'm so confused. Yeah, I had I to, like... I don't think this is about Jesse. I think it's about Kim Fox, who is the Cook County state attorney, which is the I second agree. largest prosecutor in the country. Um, she originally um, dropped the 16 charges, and she's up for re-election in 30 days. So I think this is more oh, about wow. her. Yeah, I think this is more of a case between the county of Cook and Kim Fox because they were pissed that those charges were dropped. When she did drop the charges, there yeah. was a lot of controversy, uh, you know, yeah. around it. It became very controversial. Yeah. And I think that they want to make an example out of Kim and, and Jesse. Yeah. That's what I think. And, and even though that could be true, it was confusing when all of a sudden the charges were just dropped so we don't have a verdict. Yeah. And for me, I'm very passionate about this because to this day, there are people in the LGBTQ community risking their lives and getting hurt, harmed, or killed Yes. on the daily for just living their life in real life. And I've actually lost friends to these attacks in San wow. Francisco. So I just want to say, if he really did do this to manifest it for attention, then it is a heinous thing to do and he has to pay the price. But he is, he is never... And if he didn't, and if he didn't... He hasn't admitted to that. Right, and if he didn't, then he is owed an apology because he's getting yeah. dragged through this. But and my that thing is, is why, they, why, aren't they, um, why aren't they bringing charges against the, the two brothers? Well, I think the Why aren't they bringing charges against all the white people that call the cops for BS every single day? <laughs> then there's that, too. The whole issue. Every yeah. single day. Yes. Yeah. So, it, 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 the only thing I just want to avoid is that this has to be laid to rest because we cannot put a culture out there where it becomes harder for us to believe victims that this has really that happened, really happened. To. I'm We can't make it something we side-eye when that happens. It's yeah. not about... I'm telling y'all, this is... Chicago politics is ruthless, okay? They and this, I'm telling you, this is more about Kim Fox and that situation than Jesse. They're just using Jesse as a... Sca Come on, y'all. It was no victims. They can't really prove it. Thank you. Everything was... was even if it was up. a hoax, even if it was a hoax, this is really happening all the time. And even if it was a hoax for the sake of bringing attention to this, then I'm like, that's low-key noble. Like, I'm just at, I'm at my wit's end about us centering situations like this and wanting to make people have to pay. And it's like, Emmett Till's accuser was a lie. It's, I think she's still alive. Yep. Yes, and yes. this young man died, and she announced that she was lying about it. They should have put the shackles on her that day. And she's walking around. <laughs> So, no one was hurt in this situation. Nobody, you know what they're mad about? Their time, their resources being and the used. Money, the taxpayers' yes, resources. Sure, sure. Being, taxpayers' resources are being used every day to imprison people who have done nothing but be an addict. So I don't want to hear about Jesse Smollett. Okay, but so I, what but do I you do about people that feel that? Well, what if a hate crime really happens to me, and now because of what Jesse Smollett this, did, now if, they don't believe me? If this, is, if this one instance yeah. is what makes them not believe you, baby, that's a lie that they're telling ourselves. We have lived in a nation where they don't believe hate crimes every day. Every single day. Sure, sure. And, but I just want to hear an answer, but I just want to ask... I, not I, I just want to ask because Jesse is the... It, like, it, it, it is huge nationwide news because he is famous. So yeah. if it was a hoax, what do you think is the correct punishment? And do, or do you think he should be they punished? They got murderers on probation, Gene. Sure, sure. But I'm asking about Jesse Smollett. I'm asking about that because you said it was low-key noble. I just want to understand... It literally should be like... He should oh, be applauded? Damn. Oh. They got smacks on the wrist for all these people, and they can't give a smack on the wrist to Jesse Smollett, like because they're saying that it's a whole big thing. I'm just, I, I don't believe it. Sure. And we look at black men who are constantly getting the book thrown at them all the time.